Hi there, welcome to Clearbox Let's Test and this video we are going to learn how to manage and maintain these imports. When you work in a bigger project, it becomes really messy to manage these imports. A nicer way to manage your import is with the help of a package. So the name of the package is module-alias. So this is the package. This package helps us in creating aliases of directories and also help in registering custom module paths. So instead of writing your paths like this, what if you get the opportunity to write it like that? So you can get rid of all of this, right? And you can replace simply that with at and the word. Now to install this, you have to run this command npm i hyphen hyphen save module alias. You have to grab this stuff and put that into your package.json and for custom module directories you have to do it like this and then you have to write this line of code at the very main file of your application so whenever your application start the first file which gets executed in that you have to write this code I have already installed this package. So we have this folder sample, then nested sample, and then deep nested. And under that, we have the sample.js. And this sample.js is basically invoking the function defined within this demo.js. So to access this demo.js, this is the path, right? What if I have the opportunity to change it to something like this, All right? I can definitely do that with the help of this package. So let us start making those changes. So we have to bring in this module alias in the package.json. Root will define the root of your project, which is uh, represented by this dot because package.json is at the root of the project. Right then, this deep basically will have like you know again from package.json you say okay level one, level two, and level three like that. Right. So let us save that. The other thing that I have to do is I have to bring in this line okay in here don't need to do that uh, in each and every file like I mentioned the first file which gets executed in your project you just have to import this line in there that should be the first line in that file all right so now if we just save this demo.js we are only logging hello world to the console Right, so let us run this. And to run it, we say node, and the name of the file is sample.js. You hit enter, you still get hello world. But importing your modules like this is much nicer. Tomorrow, if uh, anything changes, so for example, we add one more folder in here, which is let's say level four. Okay, and I move this file inside this level four. Okay then all you have to do is either you change this thing in here okay like that right you save it you run it again it will work or you of course as you know that you can uh, just save it go back to package or json and in here you say level 4 okay and if you run this again it will still work so how does this thing work so in order to register an alias, this package modifies the internal module dot underscore resolve file name method so that when you use require or import, it first checks whether the given string starts with one of the registered aliases. If so, it replaces the alias in the string with the target path of the alias. Now in order to register a custom module path, so add path method is there, it modifies the internal module dot underscore not module paths method. So that the given directory then acts like it's the not module directory. So I hope you like that. Thank you so much.